Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. We are continuing our lessons from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast by Ayat Abdullah Al-Qarni, which can be downloaded from galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 132. Lesson 28. The prayer of the fasting person is never refused. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, conveyed this in a well-known saying, to the fasting person, there is a prayer that is never refused. That is because the heart of the fasting person is repentant. He has subdued his stubbornness and checked his wild ambitions. Indeed, he has drawn closer to his Lord and obeyed him. He abandoned his food and drink, fearful of the king, the bestower. The fasting person has restrained his desires in obedience to the Lord of the heavens and the earth. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Supplication is worship. Thus, if you see a servant begging a lot in prayer, know that he is close to Allah and confident in his Lord. The companions once said to the Prophet peace be upon him, Is our Lord near us so that we may confide with him secretly? Or is he far that we must cry out to him? Thereupon, Allah Almighty reveal the following verse of the Qur'an. And if my servants ask thee about me, behold, I am near. I respond to the call of him who calls whenever he calls unto me. Let them then respond unto me and believe in me so that they might follow the right way. Qur'an 2 verse 186. In this same regard, the Prophet peace be upon him said to his companions, you are not calling upon a deaf or absent God. Verily, you are calling upon a hearer and seer who is close to any of you than the neck of his camel. Supplication is an extended rope and solid divine bond. Hence, the Prophet peace be upon him declared, No one will be destroyed with supplication. For this reason, Allah most merciful exhorts us to call upon him. Call upon your sustainer humbly and in the secrecy of your hearts. Verily, he loves not those who transgress the bounds of what is right. Quran 7 verse 55 And call unto me, and I shall respond to you. Verily, they who are too proud to worship me will enter hell, abased. Quran 40 verse 60 Still, the Prophet peace be upon him said, Our Lord descends to the heavens of the earth in the last third of the night and says, Is there one who asks that I may grant him his request? Is there one who would call that I may answer him? And is there one who seeks forgiveness that I may forgive him? Ramadan is the month of supplication, attainment, repentance and acceptance. O faster, whose his lips have dried from fasting, whose liver craved from thirst and whose stomach hungered, call upon your Lord in earnest and be insistent in your request. Remember Allah's description of his righteous servants. They would vie with one another in doing good works and would call unto us in yearning and awe and they were always humble before us. Quran 21 verse 90 There are certain ethics of supplication that the fasting person should know. They include the resolve of the heart and full trust in the generosity and favour of Allah. The Prophet peace be upon him said, None of you should say, O Lord, forgive me if you will. He should instead be insistent in his asking because nothing forces Allah. Among these ethics also is that the servant should praise Allah and send greetings upon his noble messenger, peace be upon him, at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of his supplication. The believer should be conscious of the times when prayers are answered, such as the last third of the night, while prostrating between the call to prayer, adhan, and its commencement, ikhama. At the end of the compulsory prayers, the last hour of Friday, Yom al Jumu'ah, after the Asr prayer, and on the day of Arafah. The believer must avoid rhymed prose in supplication, assigning someone to do it, or excesses in it. One should be careful not to invoke sin or the cutting of kindred ties. O you who fast, know that the final hour before the setting of the sun is one of the greatest hours of the day. 
Before the breaking of the fast, when hunger has become acute and your thirst most intense, make much supplication, increase your yearning, and continue to ask. Note that there is also an hour before daybreak for you who fast. Therefore, be good to yourself and ask from the ever-living, the self-sufficient, because you are poor and he is rich. You are weak and he is strong. You will pass away and he will remain. The prophet Abraham prayed, O oh, my sustainer, cause me and some of my offspring to remain constant in prayer. And, O oh, our sustainer, accept this, my prayer. Grant thy forgiveness unto me and my parents and all the believers on the day in which the last reckoning will come to pass. Quran 40 verse 40 to 1. Prophet Moses prayed, O oh, my sustainer, open up my heart to thy light and make my task easy for me. Quran 20 verse 25. Prophet Solomon called upon his Lord and asked, O oh, my sustainer, forgive my sins and bestow upon me the gift of a kingdom, which may not suit anyone after me. Verily, thou alone art a giver of gifts. Quran 38 verse 35. In an authentic hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prayed, O oh, my sustainer, you are the Lord of Gabriel, Mikael, and Israfil. You are the maker of the heavens and the earth. You judge between your servants in what they differ. Guide me to the truth by your permission, for you guide whomsoever you will to the straight path. There are four advantages of supplication. First, the realization of worship of Allah Almighty, humbleness towards him and trust in him. This is the purpose and fruit of worship. Second, the answering of one's request, either through the granting of good or the prevention of harm. None other than Allah possesses this power and ability. Third, to save the reward with Allah if the request is not granted in this world. This is actually better and more beneficial. Fourth, supplication expresses sincere monotheism through the crushing of dependency on people and yearning for their favour. O oh, our Lord, grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter and save us from the punishment of the fire. O oh, our Lord, do not cause our hearts to go astray after you have guided us and grant us your mercy from yourself. Verily, you are the donor of all good. That was the end of this lesson. Please do join us tomorrow for the next lesson, inshallah. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Asalaamu Alaikum.